Amen. Just a note. You see, salt. You see, what does salt do? You have to travel to places where they cook without salt to understand the importance of salt. <laughs> One day I went to a certain country. And in that country, there are a lot of Indians. So I went to the Indian part of the country. When I got there, I said, oh, I like curry. <laughs> curry, I like. Give me curry. I saw the Madras curry, Vintalu curry, the different types. I know all of them. No, I know Indian food. So I said, <laughs> give me this and that. And they brought the food. But the only problem <laughs> was that the whole food was without salt. <laughs> Especially the rice. <laughs> now, you see, salt makes something palatable uh, or acceptable. Yeah. That's right. Eatable. 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 Acceptable. Acceptable. But how are you doing it? Small amount of salt. <laughs> so, the presence of Christians. The prayers of Christians makes the world even tolerable mm. okay. for God to not just wipe out the whole world, which is full of wickedness. There is so much wickedness in the world. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. So our presence is very important. Our presence. It's not like just one drink, drop of salt. Very small, but mm. a lot of rice. Mm. One drop of salt is enough. Make it acceptable. Tolerant. I'll eat you. Otherwise, it's like ranch. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. So, he says that your, your hands are full of blood. And I tell you today that the church's hands. Are full of blood. Yes, that's right. You see, now I am an evangelist also. And being an evangelist has made me travel to many places in the, in the world, especially in Africa, and mostly in West Africa. As I have gone, the first time I went to Senegal, well, the only time. As I drove through, I said, shame, 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 hey, a place abandoned by Christians, mm. 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 abandoned and forsaken by Christians. Yeah. We are forsaken Senegal. Gambia, Guinea Bissau, oh, in high countries, there's no Christian, you must see any church. You try, there's no church. All the Christians have pulled out, and the Christians have gone to America and anywhere else where there is money. When they get to America, they say, Lord, I give you my soul. I live for you. Every breath. Those are the videos. That's where I was in there.
that me myself helped me to understand my salvation. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I preached in the Dakar and I preached in Zegin Shaw. And I had I have to preach who was Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. mm. I have to preach why people believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. And there's a mosque, there's a mosque, there's a mosque. Everybody I'm surrounded, two hundred percent mosque. Everybody sitting there is wearing a slab. <laughs> <laughs> they only come because of miracles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you see the importance of miracles. Yeah. You may, you may laugh at somebody when he's doing miracles and he's taking a testimony. Somebody says, My head was going to stop. And you may say that it's not a miracle. But I'll tell you to stand in Dakar. In hmm. Dakar. And preach. See if you can preach. They remove all our television adverts. Wow. They call them. You need to stop it. Take it off. They took it. Remove all the papers. You can convert. So, honestly, 